being beautiful and nice, Pisces. We have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Sun and the Judgment here. Definitely, definitely, definitely a reconciliation, okay? Or this is a final judgment call, final decision about something that you're going to make. So what's happening is that you're going to get a chance to reconcile with someone. It's going to be up to you whether you want to reconcile or not. This is someone you have a very strong connection with. Looks definitely someone you've had history with. This is someone from your past. Could be an ex. Could be someone who um, you just broke off a while back. Okay, it could be a year that your breakup has lasted. Um, there is going to be a lot of clarity, a lot of illumination, and something's going to make you very, very happy. Okay, I feel this final decision is going to make you very happy, but everything's going to be out in the open. Okay, if there was a lack of clarity here, if there were a lot of things that were unknown, uh, if there was a lot of unknown energy around this situation or this connection right now, everything's going to come out to you. Okay, probably I feel in Leo season. Okay, but let's see. But yes. Reconciliation, resurrection, and final decision is on the table. Let's see. Spirit Kaiser angels, universe, tell me how does Pisces see themselves in this connection? How does Pisces see themselves in this connection? Alright. I'm gonna take that one. Give me one more card. Give me one more card. How does Pisces see themselves in this connection? Okay, um, give me what? Give me two cards for the person who Pisces is dealing with. How do they see themselves in this connection? Mm -hmm. definitely someone here okay who's left a bad taste in your mouth someone that you don't hold in positive light you're looking at the connection in a very negative light this person in a very negative light this is your soulmate that you were dealing with i think all this while you were trying to um look up this person or keep an eye on this person or checking up on this person etc not like communication but just trying to keep an eye on them but i feel i feel now you're just it's like you're just stalking probably, but there is nothing else that you want to do with them. You have nothing to talk to them about. I think you're not even looking at this person anymore. It's like I'm getting that fed up energy out here. You're fed up of waiting for this person to come towards you and communicate with you. That's why things are in the dark. This person out here wants a happily ever after with you. Okay, they do. They love you to the core. And they want what they had in the past with you. They want everything back. But the problem here is that they're trying to see things from every different angle. They're trying to, trying to see things from every different point of view. They're trying to have an analysis, okay? But right now, things are very stuck and stagnant because of which this connection is still not getting back together. Okay? What's the hangman? What's the hangman? Hmm. They feel very left out by you. The problem here is this person has fear of rejection. They have fear of rejection here. Something fucked up in the past, okay? They messed up big time in the past here because of which this person has trust issues. They're still having a hard time trying to release the situation that they had in the past. They want this with you, they're sure about that. But, um, but yeah, this person, I think this person got screwed over in the past, okay? by a, another relationship in the past because of which this person still has trust issues so now like see look the love is there okay they know your soulmates okay at least you know that but um this person has a hard time releasing that you know they're trying their best to see things from your point of view your perspective but it's just taking a little too longer okay it's just taking too long and it's getting you in that place of where like dude i'm fucking bored are you are we doing this or not now some of you are going to comment below oh i'm not waiting for this person i'm already letting them go then why are you watching the reading okay why are you watching the reading okay this is not a reading for the new person okay this is for the one you're dealing with that you're in separation with that's the one i'm picking up all right let's see how do you view this person Pisces? how do you view this person Hmm. 
How does this lesson do, Pisces? You viewed this person as someone who you wanted everything with, okay? Looks like you wanted a future with this person. But, two things. Either you feel this person didn't take action towards you, okay? Their, their follow-through was really weak. They didn't take the lead in this relationship. They just wanted you for passion probably is what I'm getting. But you probably view this person, because I have people here is how you view them. So either you view this person as two different personalities or you view this person as someone who doesn't know which or how they should um, present themselves is what I'm getting or what they're thinking or which side of them is the right size, uh, right side. I don't know. Okay, wait, just give me a second. You view this person as someone that you could have had a future with, you could have had it all with them only if they took action, but right now you see this person is not taking action right now. Okay, they're very laid back right now. Or probably you even see them as someone who wants to take action towards you. Okay, they see that you see them as someone who sees you in good light. I mean, Pisces, that's like a hell of a lot of confidence, right? You do. You feel they're stuck in their head. You feel they're stuck in their head or they're stuck in another situation and you see them as coming towards you, wanting to take action towards you. So Pisces, you're pretty badass and confident that this person wants you. You know that they want you. That's how you see them. You see them as someone wanting to come towards you and take action and take the lead in this relationship. Because they, they put you on a pedestal. I mean, you realize your worth and not only that, you, may, you see that they realize your worth too. That's how it's happening. How this person sees you, they see you as very strong, very independent, very, very financially independent, okay? But they see you as holding back. They see you as someone who's tempering their emotions, tempering their um, the emotions, the feelings that, they, that you have for them, okay? They see you as someone who's not giving in. You're putting in all your strength, your inner strength, your boldness, your courage in holding back from this person and all your focus is on your money right now, your career goals and probably you've even moved on. You know, probably you've raised your standards of the kind of people you want to deal with and love. Okay, but they see you as someone who's not budging. Not budging and not giving in, for sure, okay? You're, you're, you're just uh, making... Um, th I think this person doesn't even recognize you is what I'm getting. I mean, they're pretty much in shock the way they see you. That's what I, that's how the best I can put it. I see you as someone who's probably given them an ultimatum or even cut communication with them completely. Because you're pissed off. Um, why is all this happening? Why is all this happening for Pisces? Why is all this happening for Pisces? Why is all this happening for Pisces? Yup. You're choosing a new direction. Give it all. You're choosing a new direction. You're no longer wanting to stay stuck on this person is what I'm getting. This person's keeping things on hold forever. Forever. And you're fed up and tired. You no longer want this person is what I'm getting. You're just very determined to move forward. You're very clear in your head about what you want. And what you want is you. You want you. You're doing you. You're taking care of you. Your money, your goals, your career, your business. And whatever makes you happy is what you want. But anything apart from this person is what you want. Seriously, you're choosing a new direction. You want positive growth, movement. And finally, you're not stuck on this person. You're not letting any kind of circumstances stop you from moving forward. Earlier, there were frustrating delays. Earlier, you wanted to push the outcome. Earlier, you were trying to wait you know wanting to push the outcome wanting to push the circumstances to turn in your favor here okay but now you're no longer waiting for the wheel to turn in your favor you're like if it's meant to be it's meant to be i ain't got no time for this and you're just moving forward that's what's happening one second what's the queen of swords who's 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 the Queen of Swords? Yeah, you have your head and heart in place. You have your head and heart in balance. Okay, earlier what's happening is you were emotionally very uh, unstable here. 
this could also be the person you're dealing with okay who's finally coming off to you as someone who's very determined now this can go two ways here now that i clarified now i'm feeling someone out here who is not making a decision is finally wanting to come towards you okay they're finally no longer waiting for the wheel to turn in their favor they're finally getting the ball rolling whether the circumstances approve or not for them it's like it's you they're very determined on having you and they're coming towards you with communication this person was you know earlier they were wanting to be in their comfort zone okay they were very they were in this land of indecision okay like should i should i not it's more like they wanted they felt the 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 situation would be resolved on its own but that's not how it works normally so now this person is finally wanting to come towards you wanting to move into calmer waters wanting to have clarity wanting to have communication wanting to get into a better place with you okay they're finally making a decision and they finally realize how much they love you this person the problem here is this person loves you to the moon and back okay but they're just not the best at expressing their emotions here okay but they're coming in towards you with communication it's going to be very close to clear communication okay their words could be a little painful but yeah it's more like you know what i don't see this person coming towards you with an apology or coming towards you with more like emotional communication it's going to be very direct communication like hey all right i screwed up i messed up i'm sorry can we do this again something like that and you're like what why the fuck is i sorry where's your apology you can't just walk back into my life like that yeah what action will uh, pisces take towards this person moving forward what action will this person take towards pisces what action will pisces take moving forward towards this person what action will this person on this side take towards And what action will the person on my right take towards moving forward? Hmm. Now this person wants to put in work, okay? This person was holding back all this while. They were. They were holding back. They were stubborn. They were not budging. They were not ready to make a move. They were very shut off. You know, they were in the state of shutdown. Is what I'm getting. Someone who just, you know, I'm getting someone here. You know, the past has hurt them so much. Doesn't have to be you who did this to them, but someone from the past who hurt them a lot because of which they felt like this was a defense mechanism. They were probably taught. You know, there was this inner working. There was this. Um, um, how can I say that? That. Um, what's that word? There's that um, training that they got, okay? Like, don't open up. Don't be vulnerable. Don't you dare open up about your feelings, okay? You'll get fucked. You'll be messed with, okay? People will take advantage of you. So this person has had this habit of keeping shut down from before. They don't really open up, okay? Or this person had opened up once to someone else who screwed them over because of which they have completely gone into their nutshell. But now... After this realization, this period of break, with the judgment here, this person finally has a realization that they, whatever they're holding back, is the only thing that will relieve of their stress, which will get this connection rolling. And now they're coming in towards you, wanting to put in the effort. They're wanting to put in their hundred and ten percent into this connection here. You, on the other hand, here, okay. I think this person is ready to come towards you, but there are chances you're going to reject their offer because you're just going to be like, either you're keeping your options open, you're keeping an open mind, or I just feel that you're going to be very indecisive when they come towards you because I think this person is taking forever to come towards you. Okay? I don't see you as moving forward with this person in your actions. I feel this person will come towards you. They will make you an offer, okay? But you're just not going to be okay with that offer or you're just going to be very shut down to this offer because you've gone through a lot with this person. This person made you wait and now you're just focusing on why now? Okay? I'm getting why now? What were you doing all this while? Okay? So you're constantly focusing on the negatives of this person or this connection rather than focusing on this opportunity that you're getting from the universe to make this happen with you. Now, Pisces, I'm not saying that they were right. I'm not saying that they're wrong. I'm just doing the reading. All right? So don't have any hate comments. No. All right? This is what I read. This is what I'm seeing. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Take it out, Grassies. But that's what I'm seeing it. Okay? That's how I'm seeing it. Let's see. What is the best possible outcome for Pisces for the spread? Someone's finally going to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Someone's finally going to make a decision and the decision is going to be to choose you. 
whoever's kept the other person here and across roads whoever's decision you're being waiting on so if you're waiting on a decision for the other person they're going to make a decision if this was this is definitely someone who's at a distance from you okay so this person could have kept you on hold you could be waiting on their decision okay whoever was waiting for the other person to make a decision that person is finally making a decision cutting through the bullshit okay and the truth is going to be revealed this person is finally going to tell you what they really really want and i think what they want is you no longer being indecisive I'm getting this person out here who was very avoidant, okay? Someone who had fear of change and who was trying to play safe all this while, okay? Because they didn't want to make that big, bold move, okay? Where their life could completely change forever. Like say, for example, if they had to commit to you, the life would change completely forever, okay? And they were resisting this change. They were resisting this new beginning with you, okay? But now they're very clear about what you want and I think what they want is you. You on the other hand here is going to be like very overwhelming for you when this person comes in with that truth and clarity. I don't see emotions when this person comes towards you. I think it's going to be like this person is going to be like very truthful, very logical, very practical. No emotions attached. The emotions are there, okay, because we saw the two of cups in the, in, in the beginning here. But it's just like this person knows that this emotional, you know, like this um, sweet apologies are not going to work because they see you as someone who does not give a rat's ass to them. So they know that this emotional bullshit ain't going to work anymore. So they know that they got to come up as a king or queen of swords and talk to you very practically about it. Because you are super confident that this person wants you and you know that they're coming towards you to get you. That's how you view them. And this person knows that you're doing everything under your power to hold back from that and your focus is not them at all. You're just not making relationships a priority or even them. You know, they see you shining. They see you doing well out there. And now this person's like, you know what, it's time for me to release. It's time for me to definitely, you know, open up before Pisces completely moves on. Yeah. You know what, I just want to, let's see. Let me over the Seven of Cups. Where's the Seven of Cups here? Why is the seven of cups here? Yeah. You're, you're not risking it. That's what the problem is. You're confused about whether you want to take a leap of faith with this person or not. Because this person is risky business. You have trust issues with them. You don't know if you want to work with them or not. That's what the problem is. Because you're fed up and tired of waiting for this person, right? You have trust issues and I think you're giving up by the time this person comes in. Or you already have given up. So expect this person to communicate with you anytime. But believe me, the, the way they're going to communicate with you, it's going to be like, it's not going to be like, hey babe, what's up? Or hey love, whatever. No, it's going to be like, hey, Pisces, we need to talk. It's going to be something like that, okay? But I don't see you as taking that offer, offer or I feel I see you rejecting that offer, okay? Because for you, it's like, you know what? It took too long, a little too late, missed opportunity, done and dusted, move forward, all right? That's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below. I love, 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 love hearing from you guys. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.